Hello guys, welcome back to our channel once again. My name is Adas Vikram Singh. I am the database expert over, over here. So today we are going to learn about the subtopics which we covered out inside this video. And the topic is the trigger to insert data in another table in SQL Server. Here are the topics which will be covered out. Trigger to insert data in another table in SQL Server. SQL Server trigger to update another table. And we also use going to use the after trigger with the DMS statement. So let's move to the first topic. As the first topic says that trigger to insert data in another table in SQL Server. It defines that on the DMS statement and the sort procedure that perform DML-like actions. Trigger can be made in the SQL Server, and there are the two sorts of DML triggers: the after trigger, which you can use as the both option with the for and after clause, fires only following the successful completion by the SQL Server of the activity that triggered. So let me explain in the layman language, and it says that uh, when we use the for or after trigger on the DML statement, first it will run or assume that. Uh, trigger part with the DMS statement on the that table after that the SQL statement which are be has been has been used uh, with the begin and the end statement if we show the result set as per the SQL statement which are used inside the tree trigger in the same terms it defines that the first we write the tree trigger then after we write your trigger name and the trigger name can be anything depends upon the user's choice after that, on we write on the table name, which we uh, triggering the table. After that, we use for or after, it depends upon the user's choice. And uh, with the DMS statement, if you are working on the insert or update or the delete. Inside the as, we write also use the one particular part which is called the declare keyword. You can define value anything inside it. And after that, we use the begin as a beginning part and we use the SQL statement and after that we uh, close it with the end clause next after that we write the insert and update and a delete statement okay the basic concept of the insert update and delete is there so let's use an example you know to make it understandable for you so for that we will use the Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Suite for in order to understand this methods we write the SQL server management studio inside it in order to use the current database for that part out of that I will check out how many tables are there let me use use the mouse for the you know to minimize our tables inside it these are the table that this shows see so Canada say customer hardware density and others are there so I'm going to use the trigger path of the for or after as per my choice on the Canada state table. So let's uh, before I move to the trigger part, you know, in order to tri uh, create trigger, uh, I need to use show you some uh, methods which are also required. Suppose if you want to see uh, the all the triggers inside it, I will use the selector name from dot triggers okay i will execute it if we show the list of the all the triggers which has been made before by the user so let's take a trigger inside the on the canada saver so as we use the select i need to check how many columns are there inside the canada state saver and as the last record is 103 inside it okay let's create a trigger I will create a trigger uh, for another table on Canada 6. I will use for insert as select asterisk from inserted. So I will insert a new record inside it. As the first topic was saying that uh, I need to use the forward trigger to ins uh, with the trigger on the another table so for another table we normally refers to the two part one is inserted passive table and second is deleted passive table 
so what happens inside uh, as so a definition says that uh, that when we insert a new record in the can uh, on the table which we are using right now that part uh, new record will be also available inside the inserted table same goes with the deleted delete table but there is a minute difference in, in that part which is that we normally use with the delete statement for the deleted table so what happens when the new record that the record which has been deleted out from that current table that record will be available inside the deleted table okay so there is a minute difference in that part so let's insert a new record into it insert into canada says values okay so i will write 104 I will write new name as Joe Biden. And then I will write the state name as Manitoba. Okay, and I will write the zip code as per my choice. It's not the just the random number. Okay, so what will happen inside when I will execute this trigger? So that new uh, record will be also available inside the inserted table. Okay, so let's execute this one first. Then this, this new record has been uh, shown inside the Joe Biden table. So what you have seen that the new record which uh, one row has been affected and it shows in the calendar space and the one row which has been affected which we show inside the in inserted table. Okay, if you want to see you can check inside the message button. I hope that the concept has been clear out for you. So let's move to the next topic. Okay. Before I move to the uh, next topic, I have a small request with our new users and our subscriber that if you are watching this video and this video is making helpful for you and it helps you to gain knowledge to all the trigger parts, please like, share and subscribe and share with your friends also, those who are want to crack the database questions like this on the SQL server for the trigger so inside this i'm going to use the same part which is on the inserted table i'm going to use the after your for update trigger okay so let's move to the I'm sorry for the mistake that i have used the for insert i should use the for update apology for that so let's move to the example for that part so i'm going to work on the previous trigger only so i'm going to use over change the create to alter Okay, the for will be changed to you to for update, and I will validate the new value. So update Canada six set. So as a new old record was the Joe Biden. Okay, latest record. So I'm going to change it to Michael Michael Jordan. Okay, and I will use a condition because if I don't use a condition, you know what will happen that all the full name has been uh, changed with the same value. Okay, for that part, I have to use this one. Sorry, it should be state ID, not the state name. So let's use the alter. Let's use this one. So it has been changed and uh, it has been updated from the Joe Biden to Michael Jordan. And you see that the, it has been updated the, in the Canada State table and it has been shown inside the inserted table. So let's move to the last topic of this video. All I have to do is that I am going to insert the update and delete the statement has been used for the with the after trigger. Okay. Here is a sentence which is shown below. All the methods are the same. As you see that all the methods are the same. Oh, there is some minor changes. All I have to do is I have to use the insert. Then, I have, then when I use the insert part, the SQL statement will run after that part. When the new record will be inserted. Then update statement will run. Then after that, as it, again the SQL statement will be run inside. Which is used inside the beginning and the same. I'm saying goes with the delete part. Let's move to the example for this. So let's move to the example part. So I'm going to use once again this old trigger, okay, and I'm going to insert the new record inside it, okay. Insert into Canada six. So I will do one zero five, 
I will use that uh, full name as and I will use the name as a state name as we go and I will put the state ID and I will also delete that new one record from the table delete from, from Canada says where state ID is equal to 98 and inside over here I will use of update is also there I am going to just use with also to insert update delete and update part and I will change here from the you know, from the because I'm going now going to put on the another table is going to be inside the same table so I will use where say ID is equal to data than equal to 95 so what will happen uh, when the new record be inserted a select statement will run of same at the same time it goes with the delete and so on goes with the update statement as I have told you before let's execute this one inserted 105 we sold with the 95 then 98 will be record deleted 98 has been deleted that update statement has been done the same with the micro journal I'm going to change it and I will use as so it has been changed with the update has been updated the new value of the full name column with the where condition on the state ID as 104 okay I hope that this concept has been cleared out with this with the end of our session and here are some more videos you can watch so thank you goodbye